following um, uh, Paul Beckwith for a, a while now. I just can't go into into such detail, and of course I don't see eye to eye on some of his other views on things, but he's really onto something here. Uh, he posted this a few hours ago on Facebook, and he's asking the question, see ice extent, the University of Bremen adjusts their graph for 2020 to match the NSIDC and JAXA seems very dubious and shady to me and he's asking why so he's uh showing first of all a plot uh for september the 10th from the university of bremen and a close-up of that and then september the 11th uh, a day later an adjusted graph and then also a close-up so let's just have a look so this this is how their thing looked on the 10th of um, 10th of September uh, and you can see the actual uh, 2020 line is kind of just over well we'll have a look in a minute that's how it looks it's equal to or just gone below uh, but the very next day uh, this is what they do. So they've suddenly seen the light, uh, <laughs> seemingly. And bear in mind, of course, all this represents uh, slush that they, you know, it only has to be 15% uh, ice for them to regard it as such and include it in their figures. So, um, yeah, it's a bit dubious, especially after the Polish dam. Uh, and that's, that's what they're saying on September the 11th. So they said that on uh, September the 10th and they're saying that on September the 11th. Uh, now he's put out a, um, a, a video uh, in which he uh, cites this article. It seems to be very good. Growing undersea, underwater heat blob speeds the demise of arctic sea ice so that sounds like a honest article and this is um paul's description uh to his video uh in this third of a new series of arctic ice demise videos i continue to chat about the demise of big the big slushy in the arctic ocean and he discusses in detail the recent peer-reviewed scientific papers on how Atlantic water, dense warm water, a couple of hundred metres below the sea ice has moved to within 80 metres of the bottom of the sea in the eastern Euro Basin and will likely keep the ocean from freezing up there in the winter. The heat in the Atlantic water <coughs> is enough to completely melt the entire Arctic Ocean ice three or four times over as it eventually makes its way near the surface over the entire basin. This already happens in the Barents Sea region and is spreading eastwards into the rest of the Arctic. And he also discussed how the so-called chimneys where the Arctic Ocean water descends to completely amok the Arctic meridional uh, overturning circulation and how this process is being disrupted by Atlantification, thereby weakening the thermohaline process, leading us closer to a complete shut off and then redistribution of uh, global ocean circulation patterns. 2020 is continuing to be full of unpleasant surprises for the teeming masses of humanity on Earth. And uh, this is. Um, a quote uh, from the article. In March, soon after arriving aboard the Polish Stern, a German icebreaker frozen into Arctic sea ice, Jennifer Hutchings watched as ice broke up around the house ship weeks earlier than expected. Even the scientists on the res research crews scrambled to keep field instruments from blood plunging into the ocean. Hutchings, who studies ice deformation at Oregon State University, Corvallis couldn't suppress a thrill at seeing the um, 
the crack up as if she had spotted a rare bird. I got to observe firsthand uh, what I studied, she says. So I will leave the um, the links to uh, Paul's video and also to this article in the description box uh, below.